this video I will talk briefly about the lover's card and what it represents. So the lover's card is a really really interesting card because I see it as resonating very very well in combination with the devil card and if you have a look at the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck you would see that the cards are very similar in the fact that there is a devil over two chained people in one card and then on the other hand it, there is an angel guarding over two people that are no longer bound to each other so the lover's card is about peace the purest form of love is peace it is not passion it is not obsessive desire but the peace that two people can feel when they meet each other and they feel like they belong to each other and in this card it is so beautifully depicted as two wandering souls that are brought together by an angel so the lover's card while it might simplify romantic desire and while it might show two people in the throes of passion it is actually about feeling complete it is about union some people would actually attribute the lover's card with Gemini influence. Why? Because Gemini is represented by two people. That is their glyph, that is their symbol. And it is considered that one um, twin is um, a bit mischievous and the other twin is actually uh, the higher, lighter and more um, well, good in incarnation of the other twin. So when they two come together and fuse, a perfect being is created. The lovers is about this energy, about being perfect, about reaching a state of complete bliss, about having all your chakras aligned and reaching nirvana. It is a card about cornucopia. It is a card about um, not necessarily completion, but it is more about coming together, fusion, osmosis, if you want to call it like that. And look at the interesting sign. It is actually represented by number six. And traditionally, we would associate six with the devil. But no, actually, it represents the card of the lovers. And this is just a skewed perception that, well, some Christian doctrines in, uh, spread throughout the me medieval ages so as to keep people from, you know, getting in the throes of passion. That six as a number has something to do with material pleasures and therefore it is the number of the devil because people shouldn't be into material pleasures, they should be into spiritual pleasures. Well, actually, the card of the lovers represents complete perfect union in the material realm, in the 3D. So there is nothing actually wrong about it. What is wrong is sometimes when the passion becomes obsessive rather than helping people fulfill a state of peace, a state of complete plenitude, a state of joy. Because the goal of the card of the lovers is for two people to come together, to become one, and then when they become one, not to selfishly indulge in sex and, I don't know, their, their selfish pursuits, but to spread their love out onto the world. So it is a card about self-love, dual love, and then love that is spread out towards the universe. It's as if two beings come together, they fuse, and they create magic, a, a magic bright white light towards the universe. In this card as well, we get to see the toad, we get to see... Um, yeah, the locust, which are all symbols of marriage in, in Asian and Eastern astrology. So it is about marriage as fusion, as a union of two souls. And I hope that this video entertained you and helped you. I'll see you next time.